everybody, it's Suzanne. Well, I think this year more than ever, we've got to spread a little love in February. So I just want to show you, I made two little projects using my Cricut. One's pretty inexpensive, one's a little more time, but I thought they turned out pretty cute. And I'll share some details with you right now. So here are the two projects. One is just a simple lunch bag with red vinyl, so it's pretty basic. The other one is a cotton little bag with four pieces of iron-on vinyl. Here's what I used on the bag, simple vinyl, a ribbon, and a hole punch. And for the other one, a little more complicated, four iron-on vinyls, weeding tool, and of course the cotton bag. Now here, let's start the project. I am in Design Space from Cricut, and when you go to images, they have just tons of things. I just typed in Valentine's, and all this really cute stuff came up. I knew the measurements of the front of both bags, so I kind of worked with that. My first one I popped up was that little border that you saw on the lunch bag, and then I popped up Love. I knew the measurements on the bag because I did that previously, and then I just made it the size I needed, so it was pretty darn easy that way. Then the other part was that really cute unicorn. And again, that was part of the images that came out of Design Space. It was already there. In fact, there's a ton of really cute unicorns for all these different holidays. So over here in my unicorn, I'm going to pop it up for you so you can see it. And it should pop up here any second. Dun, 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 hit it. Okay, there's my cute little unicorn. Now what's interesting is this has five different colors, but I only wanted four colors to make it easier. So what I did is when you see the two colors on the unicorn's ears, I actually changed that to one single color. So we only had to do four cuts. So I did the four cuts. And then what you're going to do is you're actually going to iron on individually each one of those cuts to create the design. So you can see I'm kind of taking away some of the pieces so you can see how the colors work. Here's a quick tip. That little piece you see back there is a flexible baking sheet. I found it at a kitchen shop. And it's important that as you're laying each piece of iron-on vinyl down that you protect the one you just laid down. So use that to help you out. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoy the project. And happy Valentine's Day. I'm sending you lots of love.